Hello, my name is Dark Wolf Art, and today we'll be looking at the nominees for the Game Awards. I'm going to try and decide who's going to win each uh, award. So the first award we're going to look at is the Game of the Year. So we've got the Plague Tale Requiem, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And if I was to guess, it would be out of these two, Elden Ring or God of War... While Elden Ring looks pretty and is a really good game and all that, to put together the story you have to read all the items and stuff like that and a bit mish and mash. So I would go with God of War Ragnarok because it just gives it up straight. So for game of the year, I would go with God of War Ragnarok. Uh, the only games we are not going to look at is the East, or the only categories we're not going to look at is the eSports because I don't really care. The best game direction we're going to have a look at next. And for these, we have got Elden Ring, God of War, Horizon, Immortality and Stray. I don't know about Immortality because I didn't play it. Stray, I did play it. It was a fun game. Horizon, fun. God of War and Elden Ring, obviously the best two games out of a lot of them. Uh, best game direction. Awarded for outstanding creativity, vision and innovation in game direction and design. Uh, I would have to go Elden Ring most probably. God of War sticks mostly to the same beat points as the original. So, yeah, Elden Ring, I would say. Although, I want my Stray to win. I have Elden Ring or Stray on this one, I think. But we'll go with Elden Ring, because I have to choose one at least. Uh, the next one we're looking at, the best narrative. So, this will be the best storyline. Uh, already, I'm going to say God of War. Ragnarok's going to win this one. It's either going to be that or a plague tale. So, excuse me, <coughs> or a plague tale. So, I want to say God of War will win this one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the next nominee we're going to look at is the best art direction. So, we'll take a little look. Uh, so, again, all got good art direction. Horizon Zero Dawn is fine. Uh, the art's nice and all that, but basically the same as the first game. Scorn, very creepy, very, um, oh, what's the artist who did Aliens? I can't remember off the top of my head, but very creepy looking everything. Stray had a nice futuristic look for all the robots, the overrun cities and all that. So, uh, Alderian, of course, creepy uh, design to everything. And God of War just looks fantastic. In Nordic ice scape because uh, winter is coming uh, but for outstanding creativity and all technical achievement in artistic design and animation I would say God of War Ragnarok I would go with that one the next one is the best score of music um, if God of War's in this then <coughs> there you are God of War I'd say God of War because no, Elden Ring just have a good one. The other three I haven't played, but Xenoblade usually have good soundtracks to them. Uh, I played the other two. I haven't played uh, Playtale or Metal Hellsinger. So, out of Elden Ring or God of War... Maybe God of War again? Although, maybe Xenoblade Chronicles. Because that usually does. Uh, I'm going to say Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Most probably will win this one. Uh, best audio design. Look at... Uh, Call of Duty, Elden Ring, God of War, Gran Turismo, Horizon. Uh, <coughs> best in-game audio and sound design. Gran Turismo 7 does some really good on uh, the audio and sound. Uh, so does Call of Duty to a certain point, apart from the footsteps. Nobody likes the footsteps. I'm going to go with Gran Turismo. My vote would be with Gran Turismo on this one. Next, best performance. Best performance. Open a new tab. Oh. Come on. Open a new tab. Better. Ugh. Best all. Best performance. Horizon, Plague Tale, God of War, Immortality, or God of War. Sonny and Christopher Judge are very good in God of War. Uh, Horizon's alright. 
I never played Immortality or Plague Tale. I would have to go with God of War, Ragnarok, of course, Christopher Judge. Boy. Or either Christopher Judge or Sunny will win this one. I would go with Christopher Judge. He does an outstanding performance as Kratos. That's it, that's it. who I choose. Uh, best performance. Games for Impact. Which one's this? Games for Impact. Uh, for a thought provoking game with a pro social message, uh, meaning or message. Didn't play, didn't play, didn't play, didn't play, didn't play, didn't play. Uh, oh, I do want to play this one actually. Endling, Extinction is Forever. So I'm going to vote for that one just because I want to play that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, best ongoing. Uh, out of Apex, Destiny, Final Fantasy, Fortnite, and Genshin Impact. Best ongoing is most probably going to go to Fortnite. But Final Fantasy XIV is so good. So I would vote for Final Fantasy XIV. Genshin Impact is just give me all your money uh, so you can win. Destiny 2 is fun, but I haven't played that for a while. Apex, just another battle royale. So between Final Fantasy and Fortnite, I would go with Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, go on next, the best indie game. Take a look at the best indie. Uh, I've heard Cult of the Lamb's good. And then we've got Neonite, Seafood, Straight, and Tunic. So I've only played these two. Uh, so I'm going to choose between these two. Though I heard this is supposed to be good. I heard this is supposed to be good, but it's not my type of game. I'm not too sure about this one. I know it's a first person, I believe. I don't know. So the best indie. Uh, Tunic. I'm going to go with Stray, I think. Uh, Tunic's more of a Souda type adventure. And Stray's more an... Uh, exploration ish kind of yeah I'll go with stray for this one so a best need best mobile game God best mobile game uh no not Diablo immortal get rid of that it is absolutely trash apex I haven't played it uh Genshin impact I've only played on console but that's another should give me your money so you can win mark snap I've heard supposed to be really good you don't have to put any money into it, although you can. And Tower of Fantasy is another Genshin Impact sort of thing. Uh, if I was to choose, most probably Marvel Snap, because I've heard good things about that, but I don't know. Don't play mobile games. I did play Diablo Immortal. That was just... Don't go there. It's absolute trash. Uh, best community support. Uh, recognize the game for outstanding community support, transparency and responsiveness, inclusive social media activities and game updates and patches. Uh, I know this one's had a lot of updates and patches. Uh, Fortnite's always getting updated, it's always coming out with something new. Uh, Destiny 2, not too sure. Apex Legend, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I'd have to go with Final Fantasy 14 because I do really like that game. Uh, innovation in accessibility, I don't know because I don't generally use them because I haven't got no problems with it. So the best VR, AR. After the Fall, Among Us, Bone Labs, Moss Book 2, Red Ma I really want to play. I played the first one. This is such a fantastic game to play. And I would really like that. I would say that one if I've already played it. But I haven't. I haven't played any of these actually. So I would go with Moss Book 2 because I enjoyed the first game so much. Hopefully the same one's just more of the same. Uh, they just added to it, hopefully. Uh, best action game. Uh, we're going to take a look at. So we've got Bayonetta, Call of Duty, Neon White, Sifu and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I've only played Warfare 2 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <coughs> so best action game. I choose. I'm going to go with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because it was fun. Classic side scroll and beat em up and I really enjoyed it. Call of Duty is just the same old first person run around shooting, just with nicer graphics. So yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for this one. Uh, best action adventure. Let's have a look. So we've got Play, God of War, Horizon, Forbidden West, Straight and Tunic. I'm going to have to go with God of War, Ragnarok. Um, cause that's just a lot of fun. Straight's fine. Um... But it's a bit slow. Tunic's just like a Souda one, which is fun and fine. Uh, but God of War's just going to beat it, I think. 
Although I've heard Plague Tale is supposed to be really good as well. But, <coughs> going with uh, God of War Ragnarok on this one. Best role playing game. Let's have a look. Out of Rain, uh, Live Alive or Live Alive. Pokemon Legends, a Triangle, and Xenoblade. I've only played Outer Ring, so I'm going to have to say Outer Ring for this one. But no doubt, Xenoblade Chronicles is really good as well, as the other two were. Uh, Monoloth, uh, Soft do some really good games, so. Yeah, Outer Ring will have to be this one. Best Fighting, uh, I don't play fighting games, so Best Family, let's take a look at that. Uh, Kirby, Lego Star Wars, Mario Rabbit, Nintendo Sports, and Splatoon 3. Uh, the only one I played is Lego Star Wars, so I'm going to have to go for that. Though Mario Rabbit, the one before this, was really good. And I've heard Kirby's supposed to be alright as well. Splatoon 3, I've heard it's supposed to be good as well. But Lego, because that's the only one I played. So, uh, Best Sim Strategy, I don't play these, so... <coughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of a cold, so. Um, if I choose one of these, uh, June, Mario, Total War, Two Point Campus, and Victoria 3, I would have to go with Total War Hammer 3, I think. I've heard a lot of good things about that. That would be my choice. Uh, best sports and racing. So. Who have we got? FIFA 21. Uh, sorry. F1 22, FIFA 23, right, so these these two games are just all about the card packs anyway nowadays that you have to pay for, which you spend 10 grand on, so those two are straight out. I haven't played F1 22, so mm, not really too bothered. Grand Trismo I'd have to go for, seeing what I played in that, apart from a couple of uh, <clears throat> missteps in Grand Trismo 7, I would have to go for this. Oli Oli World, I haven't played, so I don't know. Next, best multiplayer. <coughs> Modern Warfare 2, Multiverse, Overwatch, Splatoon, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I would have to go with Modern Warfare 2, because as well as I've played Shredder's Red, I haven't played that in multiplayer. I've only played Modern Warfare 2. And it's fine, it's what it is. It's Call of Duty, so I would, go, I would have to go with Call of Duty, because that's the only one I've really played. In a multiplayer game. Uh, do, 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 where am I? <laughs> Best uh, content creator of the year. Let's see if I'm watching any of these people. Uh, Carl Jacobs, Ludwig, Nibelian, Nobru, and QT Cinderella. Uh, the only one I've ever watched or heard of is Ludwig, so I'm going to have to vote for Ludwig. Because I have no idea who the other four are. Must be an age thing. She's getting too old for this rubbish nowadays. Best a debut indie. Let's take a look. So we've got Neon White, Norco, Stray, Tunic, and Vampire Survivors. I'm going to go with Vampire Survivors because that I just had a lot of fun with that. It's a nice and simple game to play. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to stick with that. I've already given Stray, I think, an award in something else. So I'm more like that. I haven't given Tunic anything. But Vampire Survivors, I... I Spent many hours playing that game, so definitely that. Uh, best adaptation. Let's have a look. Uh, Arcane, League of Legends, Cyberpunk, Cuphead Show, Sonic Hedgehog 2, and then Chad. I'm going to go with Arcane. That is the best um, show based on a computer game I have ever seen. Cyberpunk comes in a very close second, and then it would go Sonic 2, Cuphead, and then Uncharted. Uh, if I was to put those in order, but Arcane, if you haven't watched it yet, go and watch Arcane on Netflix. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, most anticipated game. We have Final Fantasy 16, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, Starfield, and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I know for some, they want Legend of Zelda, Starfield, uh, it's fine enough for the first game. Resident Evil 4, I am looking forward to. And I'm also looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy, which is coming out next year. <coughs> but Final Fantasy 16, I'm just looking so much forward to that. I'm a big Final Fantasy 14 fan. If I was to put these in order, Final Fantasy, um, Resident Evil 4, Hogwarts Legacy, Legend of Zelda, 
and then Starfield last. But yeah, take my vote. And that's it. The rest are all esports events, and I don't watch any of those. Uh, so that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Dark Wolf Heart, and I'll see you again. <laughs>